Well, hey, good morning, Catalina Foothills Church. It's Pastor John Stone here with our Tuesday morning devotion, and we're in Psalm 10, and we're going to spend actually two weeks in Psalm 10. It's a, it's a long psalm, especially for a short Tuesday morning devotion, about 18 verses, but it deals with sort of a really um, sort of serious issue. I just let you listen to it. Uh, it's a psalm that we've all felt at some point, and this is what it says. Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourselves in times of trouble? In his arrogance, the wicked man hunts down the weak who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts about the cravings of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. In his pride, the wicked man does not seek him, does not seek God. In all his thoughts, there's no room for God. His ways are always prosperous. Your laws are rejected by him. He sneers at all his enemies. He says to himself, nothing will shake me. He swears no one will ever do me harm. His mouth is full of lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From, am from ambush, he murders the innocent. His eyes watch in secret for his victims. Like a lion in cover, he lies in wait. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless. He drags them off in his net. His victims are crushed. They collapse. They fall under his strength. He says to himself, God will never notice. He covers his face and never sees. Those are really, um, if we're honest, dark thoughts and, and troubling thoughts. And I think it's important for us to see that the psalmist is incredibly honest about what he feels and about what he believes in this moment. It's not that this psalmist has given up belief in Yahweh or given up belief in God, or in our case, given up belief in Christ. But as he looks at the world, he wonders why God is not responding the way he would respond. It's really an important question. And he says, why do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? It's interesting, this psalm, neither this week nor next week, will give a great answer to this question. And I think at times we can look at other parts of Scripture and see answers are given to this question. At times the Lord disciplines those he loves. He does that through trials. C.S. Lewis said that trials were God's megaphone to speak to us. But this psalmist doesn't try to answer the question. He simply says, there's a time and a place in a Christian's life when we look at the world around us and we say, why, Lord, are you far away? Why do you stand far off over there when I'm here? And why are you hiding yourself from me? And I simply want to say to those of you who are listening to me, it's a legitimate thing to feel that. You're not unfaithful. You're not without faith. If you feel that the Lord is far off, if he's hiding himself from you. That's not an illegitimate thing. It's a natural thing to look at a world that's fallen, to look at a world where children suffer, to look at a world where marriage and people are abandoned day after day, where 50 to 60% of our marriages fail, where violence seems to rule, where the political parties that are over us seem to both be lost where we don't know where to turn for leadership. Why is the Lord far away? Why does he stand far off? It's a legitimate thing. It's a normal thing to feel that. You are not unfaithful. You are not being unfaithful. You are not sinning to simply feel and experience that. But more than that, and I, can't, I will not read it again, in verses 2 through 11, he wonders, why does the evil man prosper? Why does the greedy prosper? Why does the wicked prosper? That's verse 3 and 4. Why does the wicked wait, lay in wait for the innocent? Why are the innocent are the ones who are being taken advantage of? Why are those who are innocent and righteous being crushed? And again, the psalmist understands that there's something legitimate about looking into our world and seeing violence and a lack of justice. Not for us. Let's be careful that Many of us who listen to this who think we're, we have lost justice need to be careful. Some of us who hear this, we've cried out for justice has not had it. But many of us are simply thinking of this in sort of small political ways. 
This is a man who says, his eyes watch in secret for his victim like a lion. He cowers in, in line, like a lion in cover. He lies in wait. He lies and waits to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless and drags them off. And isn't that his victims are crushed? They collapse. They fall under his strength. It's an absolutely legitimate thing to become very honest about the way our world is, not simply the United States, but the entire world where cyclones destroy people, where volcanoes ruin people's lives, where political injustice in places like China are overwhelming, overwhelming, where the last century saw the uh, violence and war. And, and, and it can be, Christians can say, hey, we know Christ. He died for us. Let's be of good cheer. But yet there's a legitimate place emotionally to go. Lord, why are you far off? Why do you seem to be hiding yourself? Why are you not responding the way I want? Why do I see injustice? Lord, I'm sad about this. He's not angry about it. He's sad about it. And so as you sort of go out today on Tuesday... I'd love for you to read the first half of Psalm 10 through verse 11. We'll look at verses 12 and 4 next week. But there's a way to be faithful and wonder why God stands off. There's a way to be faithful and wonder why the unjust and the unrighteous rule. It's dark, and it's a beautiful psalm. Good to be with you today. Look forward to seeing you this week, whether it be at church or somewhere else. And if we can't see you in person, we'll see you online. Thanks for your uh, love and support, and we'll talk to you soon.